So after a while I have brought here uh, some other stands and a bit of models people like. So here's one of very popular uh, uh, microscope of Grinnell system. Olympus, Olympus, oh, I've got it. Olympus CZ61T with ternocular here. When we pull this lever, we are losing one of our channels, and uh, the picture from that uh, right channel in our case goes to third uh, port. When we push back our lever, we are getting ordinary uh, binocular mode here. And we can now just see uh, how, uh, what, what are the, the working distances uh, of uh, Olympus SZ61 uh, comparing to uh, Nikon SMZ 745. So if we look just from a side, we can see kind of two centimeters difference and oh, even three centimeters difference here. It means that uh, Olympus is much lower sitting and in our case we have both microscopes set in, at, at their working distances here is 11 centimeters and there are 11 and half kind of that actually or oh, kind of that so uh, both microscope uh, uh, have got their working distances but this stand is a bit thicker here kind of three or four millimeters but anyway we can see that olympus is uh, uh, two and a half centimeters lower and we have got Olympus stand here it's not that nice painted we got, got some kind of uh, rust thing here it got two, uh, da, two uh, kind of light regulators but I don't know what it regulates because I don't see any connections here at least we have some uh, power unit inside I suppose with standard plug, but I don't see uh, where are those devices uh, connected to, to, to some something. Might be we have got just a dummy uh, potentiometer, potential, uh, how to say, regulators, you could say, yes. So we have, we need to check our distance now. If we look at Olympus and compare it distance from the top lens to the working space we have kind of 32 centimeters here and again if we compare that scene for our Nikon we can see kind of 30, uh, 34 might be and half centimeters distance from a working plane to eyepieces so those two microscopes we could say they're not that much high but not that short position now Let's make our final comparison. We need to see our star of this night. This star, it's Nikon SMZU with a little stand. So let's try to see how it looks, how it work, works. <coughs> Here's our stand. It's pretty compact here. We can flip this uh, plate with two different colors. I don't know whether you, you need that or not, but at least we have got it. And when we connect our Nikon SMZ U, we can try to see our distances here. So <clears throat> in, in our case, I need to have my uh, kind of 82 millimeters here. Oh, just lift, let it lift a bit. Kind of here, 82 <coughs> centimeters, millimeters. And we can now see what is the distance for eyepieces with a photo splitter set on? Because if you take photo splitter off, we will we will take uh, almost four centimeters, uh, four and a bit of centimeters away. So now with this photo splitter, our working distance is kind of 30, 30, 35 uh, centimeters, only centimeter over the Nikon uh, SNZ. 745, 745. <coughs> and if we try to take our photo splitter away, let's try to do it. Just for those who don't need it or might be somehow limited 
with the height. Those parts are detached as block devices. I removed one of the blocks. I'm putting our binocular head back. And we can see our distance again. Now, <clears throat> working distance of our SMZ U is kind of 30 centimeters only. We could say might be 30 and a half. <clears throat> and when we use this stand, uh, it's easy seen that distance from the limiter to the optical center is about 13 centimeters here. And with uh, this stand, we can rotate microscope, not that much, because if you rotate to back position, it would be, uh, would be, how to say, tilt or even flip our stand. But if we attach stand to the table somehow, because we have possibility to screw it to the table, I don't know how, but we, we, I suppose we can make some connection to the table. Then we can have kind of such very nice situation when we have two work zones, maybe one work zone is here, Another might be here, but I don't know, is, is it working? At least we, I can say that uh, our working distance uh, till the limiter is 13 centimeters and we have lift microscope that way that working distance gets to be uh, 15 centimeters and still while we have 15 our focuser gives us two and half centimeters up and correspondently I suppose two and a half centimeters down let's just check it oh close to three yes we have gotten three centimeters uh, down movement and two and a half centimeters up movement so total course is five and five centimeters here <coughs> uh, Nike and SMZ you uh, focuser got double speed uh, dials one dial is pretty uh, precise, while another is used for some draft movements. So <clears throat> we just have seen our stand and let's see how this uh, stand carries our Nikon SMZ uh, 1500 microscope, our top, at least for me, so far. So let's try to put it here and see how it works. I'm taking SMZ you away and here's our last thing we got oh then frankly we can put here oh not that easy okay okay so <coughs> our smz one uh, uh, smz 1500 is has its own focuser with double speed two we need to attach here our head. Uh, where is our ergonomic head? It's here. I need to put it to the top of our uh, 1500 microscope. <coughs> After that, we need to screw in our objective. It's here, A huge. Brick of metal, not brick, a huge, I don't know how to name it again. So, if you see our uh, position with uh, tilting ergonomic head, we need to put it to the working 54 millimeters distance here. So, let's lower it to that position. Huh, I can't reach it. Can you imagine that? Okay, looks like uh, we still can't reach it because we have this uh, ring. We need to take it away. We don't need it in our case. So, oh, so now we can easily reach our 54 millimeters here, kind of that. It's our working distance with this objective. <coughs> After that, we can see our travel path. Ah, we, we, we need to see our height here. Height with a lower position is kind of 29 centimeters. If you see our upper position, it is kind of uh, 30, might be 9 centimeters. 
and if we see just a <coughs> height we can reach with focuser it's kind of not that much thin frankly it's only 11 centimeters but don't forget nobody restricts us from using this uh, this ring that put all system on other heights now i'm trying to put it as high as possible with this short stand kind of that <clears throat> and we can see that now working distance turns to be kind of 13, 17 uh, centimeters not that bad so we just have uh, evaluated some parts and some stands here and uh, i suppose in i hope in in a week or might be in four days i'll i make a real uh, measurement, measurement and look through uh, my internet uh, Nikon SMZ microscope for, from Feder from, 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 from Lviv and then we will try to see to look through it on some uh, Apple's microprocessors so thank you for looking this time I have shared with you some stands here and I hope might be in a very short period of time we will get some much more interesting uh, view through the optic to see how microscopes work might be even this could be checked a bit okay thank you for coming subscribe don't forget to write your comments what do you think about that and hope to see you soon